Good morning folks. This is another update on the roadblock situation here in Ecuador. Not a whole lot has changed overnight uh, in some of the cities, uh, particularly in Quito and, and Cuenca, there's been some pretty uh, violent uh, riots, you know, uh, but they've been, they were short lived. There's been some people that have been injured. There's be, the police have been involved. They're, I honestly think that they're actually trying to uh, come to a resolve on this. Right now it doesn't look very promising. I'll put a link in the description of the two newspapers that I follow to get the latest information on what's going on and what's causing the strikes and the roadblocks. I've been told by several people that if you fly into Waikil, you most likely won't have much of a problem getting to Salinas or to the coastal region like here in Monta. Uh, my advice to you would be get here as early as you can and well, if you fly into Waikil, spend the night and then take an early morning bus or an early morning ride, private ride to get to Monta or Salinas. There's been some roadblocks between Waikil and Salinas. There's, I read in one report where some people were trying to go from Salinas to Waikil and they got stopped at a couple roadblocks but they were allowed through uh, when they told them that they had international flights and were flying for medical procedures. But then when they got to a third roadblock that was closer to Waikil, they were not allowed to go through. And so they just had to sit there and park there and wait and I don't know. I don't have any other information in regards to how long they had to wait or what they actually did, whether they turned around and went back or what. Uh, there's been some roadblocks between Waikil and Monta, but most of, most of the roadblocks are small and are minor and people are able to get through. The major blocks are around the cities of Cuenca and Quito. You know that I don't like to give advice, but in this case, uh, I'm, I'm not going to give advice in regards to travel to Ecuador, but I would recommend if you had the ability to reschedule your flight, I would do so. I would wait. I wouldn't chance coming into Quink or into Ecuador this weekend. I, I just wouldn't do it. You may get stranded and there's nothing to say that you wouldn't be stranded on a sidewalk. Get as much information from your airlines as you can. My recommendation for this weekend, if you can reschedule your flight, I would do so. I wouldn't, unless you're flying into Waikil. And even at that, there's no guarantee that you're not going to have some disruption in your travel to Monta. If you fly into Quito, and if your final destination is Cuenca or Monta, you'll have better luck trying to catch a flight to those destinations than you will trying to take a, a bus or a personal driver. I've also read some reports that some people are stopping at the, taking personal drivers, going to the roadblocks, getting out of the car, walking through the roadblocks, through the crowd, through the protesters, and then pick up another ride on the other side. I don't recommend that. I do not recommend that. There's some people uh, that might work, but it has not been working well for some others. So there's been some violence. They, there's a police report from Cuenca, from Cuenca High Life, about fist fights in the city, in the actual city of Cuenca, and the police having to go out and disperse the crowd. A lot of the injuries have been to the police officers, probably because they're not equipped to really deal with this little war. But anyway, that's my advice to you, or my recommendation to you, is if, if you can reschedule your flight, I would reschedule. I wouldn't come here this weekend, and hopefully it'll be better reporting next week. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Look on Facebook. Look on the uh, Ecuador-specific Facebook pages. Look at Mark Bradbury's uh, Friends and Amigos from Manabí and Monta Expats. Look at all. Just do a search on Facebook for. Ecuador and you'll find all kinds of information. Don't just rely on what you hear from me or from a million JP or Mr. Second Passport or any of the other YouTubers. Uh, not to say that our information is not accurate, but you need to get as much information together as possible. Do your research. Make rational decisions, okay? That's it for now. Good luck to you and I'll talk to you on the next one. Ciao.